half a day to all of you guys. Hello, replay viewers. I'm here at the Tumon Sands Art Gallery here in Tumon, and I am interviewing BJ Bell or Baltasar Jerome Bell um, for the Sunday Post. Uh, so, hi, Amber. I'm here at the TSP Gallery, and I'm interviewing Mr. BJ. Hi to him. Hi, BJ. <laughs> Why you film? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I thought you were filming yourself. I don't know which way. Oh, the I, I, I switched. You can switch. Oh, okay. Yeah. So um, there you go on Sunday post this coming Sunday. I feature a lot of artists, uh, mainly musicians, um, poets, artists, and uh, yeah, I like to promote. I try to promote and support local artists. So here I am interviewing. So you're joining us right now in the middle of the interview. Uh, I'll be asking him questions. So if I miss some of your comments, hey Marie, what's up? If I miss some of your comments, I'm sorry. I'm just uh, trying to finish up the interview right now. But I thought of um, letting you guys join in on the interview. So, um, I don't know what's the... See, I'm at the gallery. All right. I'm going to finish up, you guys, and then I'll talk to you guys, okay? Uh, let's see. Uh, do you have any other interesting hobbies or maybe a fun story about an experience involving your artwork that you'd like to share? If you don't have any, it's okay. Um. I'll answer your questions later. Um, any 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 hobbies outside of art? Um, I'm on and off into martial arts. What type? Kempo um, karate most recently. Kempo? Yeah. Um, the M. Yeah. Some people live in so different schools. Yeah. Yeah. Different. Um, and jujitsu. Don't ask me how to set up. But I'm not training right now. Taking a break. You're not training right now, okay? Yes. Yeah, so my gagalitis is playing. Gagalitis is. It's a play on words. Gagalitis. Gagalitis. Gagu. Litis. Litis. What is that? Um. Sounds like gingivitis. Oh, well, gagu is a Chamorro word for being lazy. Being lazy. Oh, okay. Gagu is lazy. Okay. Gagu is lazy in Chamorro. So gagu is kind of like saying, yeah, I'm just not. Ah, uh, I learned being lazy something right today. Now. All right. Gagulitis. Don't be gag gagulitis. Yeah. Yeah. Get treated for your gagulitis. Yeah. Get treated Early for your treatment. gagulitis. Yeah. yeah. Early prevention. The earlier, the better. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, let's see. Where can we reach you if uh, if we are interested in commissioning you for uh, projects? Mm, my uh, email, please. Okay, what is your email? It's baltazarbell at yahoo.com. Okay, how about Facebook? Um, yes, you can initially, but. I like to read an email to better explain. Okay. To, so, okay. That so email is better. Yeah. So All right. Better. It's going to come down to the email eventually, I think. Okay. Because emails are, you kind of have to think about what you're proposing. Right. Right. It's more As professional. As opposed to just a, yeah. a phone call where you can just kind of talk about Right. Something. Or even Facebooks. Right. Even Facebook. Yeah. And an email, um, well, it's also like a, almost a public contract. Right. That's because true. Yeah, yeah. It comes down to a lawsuit. Right. Emails can be um, used as evidence. Yes. All right. What, in your opinion, is the hardest step in creating a masterpiece? Um, the hardest part would be trying to come up with a masterpiece before you start it. Uh, masterpieces tend to be with a concept, trying to come yeah, up with a concept. Yeah, to, to plan on doing a masterpiece and then doing it, it's not coming up. It's more like the thing you start off for fun without even thinking of it, and then it kind of turns into something that other people assign as your masterpiece. Does that make sense? Yeah. I mean, traditionally, the masterpiece was 
what the Master's Guild assigns to an artist who wants to join the Master's Guild. That's their masterpiece. Um, these days, it's what the... Um, Master are, Guild? Yeah, typically the Master's Guild. Master Philosophy S. Or Master S. Assign, assign, uh, assign the artist that wants to join the guild. But these days, it's commonly used as a person's most celebrated piece. Mm -hmm. So it's not really up to the artist what his masterpiece is, really. Hello, Mexico. I'm currently interviewing an artist right now, a local artist on Guam. His name is BJ Bell. I am almost done with the interview. So after the interview, I will um, answer all your questions and comments and give all of you guys shout outs. Uh, all right. Um, would you say you have a masterpiece in your inventory? How do you price your artwork? Um, good question. Depends on Sorry. how much time. Um, if it was some of my better um, training went into it. Okay. Yeah, you know, it was. If we just spent, if it was just busy work, then I can't justify charging a lot for it. So there's just a lot of times just filling in colors. Um, I guess it also depends on who it's going to and what it's going to be used for. Okay, there was a call that I had to um, end. Um, I lost my train of thought. How much of, do I charge? Oh, there. How much do you... Um, Typically, how much do you charge for commissioned work? Um, I charge um, typically. Excuse me, excuse me. Bless you. Um, Fifty dollars an hour okay. is a good rule of thumb for me. So that they don't try to get everything in the kitchen sink for after a new ball and a new figure. And that way I also don't uh, procrastinate on a piece that I got seven hundred dollars for. Have you? Have you sold any of your artwork? Um, yeah. How much have you sold? What was the most expensive artwork you sold? I got fifteen hundred for a mural. Okay, where where was that mural at? Saigon Katuna Chamorro. So located in where? Saigon Katuna Chamorro. Chamorro with a K. Okay. Yeah. Is it still up right now? Yeah. Okay. So we'll add stuff when did you do that? Huh? When? When? Uh, a couple years ago. Okay. Okay. A year or two ago. It was um, funded by um, Kaha. So Kaha funded us for supporting artists. Okay. Uh, how has your practice changed over time? Uh, I learned to simplify things just to get it done on a deadline. But I learned from the process because there's a beauty and a challenge in being able to simplify things. Simplify something. It's like Einstein said, um, you can't 
explain something simply and you don't understand it. What? You can't? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Einstein can't. said if you, did, if you can't explain something simply, you don't okay. understand it. Enough. So that applies to uh, art as well. or illustrating something, you're basically explaining an idea visually. All right. Um, how does... What are your goals? Um, to improve my level of work as an artist. Identity or just identity? To help um, bring up the level of uh, skill and one's uh, young artists. How does culture play into your artwork? great source of inspiration, especially when you're, when you're reading about something or you're listening to the elders talk about something, and then that makes for great uh, visual imagery that I try to show you. What's the best piece of advice you've been given? Not to, you said? Yeah, try not to do things the same way. Okay. What, a, what a advice would you give to aspiring artists? Keep breathing. To give wait, I, I like to give you this one. Okay, no, no, no. there's just uh, the images that I'm going to um, capture for print. Uh, so, did you bring any other artwork, or they're all over there? Yeah. Okay. All right. Yes, you can. You're more than welcome to uh, take stuff off of Facebook. Like just about everything that I do. Like, I they're all on Facebook. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, Okay, I uh, deactivated from Facebook. I did um, create a new one, but it's a bogus one, so I'll just, I'll add you. Yeah. Alright, well, if you want to go ahead and collect all the, just the art pieces that you want to, fe to be featured on the print, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll take your photo. I'm, I'm just going to square things away here. Yeah? Thank you. I'll be there. All right, and that was the interview with BJ Bell. Um, I'm going to start writing.